trauma. Trauma is something that many of us would say, you know, I don't know if I had a traumatic experience before. Well, trauma doesn't have to be the sexual abuse. It doesn't have to be the verbal abuse. Traumatic things happen to us every day. That could be um, a bully experience in school. That could be a, um, a fire where you were burnt. It could be a falling down. It could be some of the minor things that affects us and that affect from childhood or whatever time frame you may have experienced it is going to follow you throughout all the of, of your life and affect every aspect of your life. 60% of adults report experiencing abuse in childhood. 20% of children experience some form of assault or abuse before the age of 10. One out of every six women report having been sexually abused. And that's the key word is report. One out of 33 men report having been sexually abused. And I guarantee you the numbers are much higher. What I want to talk about over the next months is the effect of trauma. Here it is. T is trauma. The A stands for addiction. And the P stands for pain. And you say, well, what in the world does all these have in common? And this is what I believe. I believe trauma is at the center of everything. And therefore, you're going to get addiction and pain will often come from that. Working with a certain population called POTS, what I begin to observe, I work with a, uh, a medical clinic out in Dallas, and I do some contract work with them, and I begin to see that the trauma, or actually the pain, the headaches, the body uh, misfunctioning, often stem when the trauma happens, whether that was a grief, whether that was a loss, whether it was an abuse, and then the body starts to respond. The body keeps the score. Trauma is housed in the body. And it also affects addiction. Oftentimes, most people with some type of trauma has falls into some form of addiction. So I wanna break it down to you on how it actually works today. Now, you have a computer in your brain. It's called the amygdala. There are two pea-sized, or should I say almond-sized uh, organs in your brain, the amygdala. It is the memory chip, would you? It doesn't forget anything. It houses all the information in the amygdala, but it's filtrated through the hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus is filtrated through the senses. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Let's say you were at 9-11 when we had the attack on America. And you are a reporter. But what you're reporting is inaccurate. Everything you're seeing and you're reporting is inaccurate. And that's how we, we process information in a traumatic experience because the frontal cortex, this part of the brain, the frontal cortex, literally shuts down during trauma and the fight or flight kicks in and that's where the amygdala is housed. So you are experiencing abuse, experiencing some type of pain, experiencing some type of trauma and your senses is gathering information. So if you're tasting something, the taste is going to go through the hypothalamus down to the amygdala. The, if you smell something, we call that the olfactory, it goes directly to the hypothalamus. It's the only thing that goes directly to the hypothalamus or to the amygdala, excuse me. And if you're seeing something through your eye gates, it's filtrated through the hypothalamus to the amygdala. If you're hearing something, what you're hearing is being filtrated through the hypothalamus to the amygdala. If somebody touches you, it's being filtrated through the hypothalamus to the amygdala. And it's everything that you experience in life is being stored. But here's the problem.
is being stored inaccurately. It's bad history. And so what I want to begin to really address is there are some amazing trauma therapies out there that I want to make the community and the world aware of. One is EMDR. I'm trained in EMDR. Eye movement desensitizing reprocessing is helping you to reprocess the trauma in a way that makes sense and is going to work on your behalf. The other modality I've been trained in is something called rapid resolution therapy. And if you really, really care for somebody or if you have experienced some type of traumatic experience, I highly encourage you to reach out to somebody who's a trained EMDR because it can be life transforming for you. I'll provide some more information in the up in the video. I hope you enjoyed this, but um, we'll see you soon.